In this lecture, we are going to talk about handling and storage of reinforcement steel. Preferably, the delivery should be done on a flatbed truck, so that steel received is straight. In short, each project site has a separate reinforcement yard, where material can be stored safely. The access roads are good in condition. Received materials inspection. Check the shipping list for each delivery against the bundles of loaded. Verify that there are no shortages. Record weight and other pertinent information for each shipment. Ensure shipping and local weight bridge record matches. Record weight for each rebar diameter size. Preferably, the full and empty loads of the trailer should be performed under direct supervision. Good offloading practices. Offload bars on the wooden sleepers or precast posts spread on ground so that they do not touch the ground. Preferably, a hoist crane should be used for offloading. Use a spreader bar to offload reinforcement. If power hoisting equipment are not available, the bundles can be skidded from the trailer over timber or rails placed from the ground up to bed elevation. Storage Practices a separate steel yard should be constructed with proper fencing around the yard. Bars should be laid by size and length to avoid double handling. For cut and bend steel, make sure all bar tags are at the same end for quick identification. Ensure yard has proper drainage facilities. Prevent conditions such as soil contamination, contact with moisture, water, and humidity to avoid rusting. Separate space should be kept for cut pieces and scrap. Avoid storage of reinforcement for long periods to prevent corrosion and contamination.